<laughs> hey, check this out. Sunday in Florida, a dinosaur, I mean a 13-foot-long gator just sauntering along to his next meal. Look at the size of that thing. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, relax. Welcome to For What It's Worth, the latest thing you can hate on the internet. I'm Robert Flores. Let's start with hipster and reality star Travis Kelsey, upset after his team lost to the Steelers in the playoffs. He's responsible for our face-melting, piping hot take of the week. We call it Post Beef. Ref number 51 shouldn't even be able to wear a zebra jersey ever again. He shouldn't even be able to work a footlocker. You know, he really should be upset at the person who told him that jacket looked good. Correctamundo, eh? Why did that sound like Chris Berman? Yay. Kelsey's an odd case. He has a reality show, he takes bad penalties, taunts opponents, celebrates, but rarely gets criticized. What's different about him than say, I don't know, Odell Beckham Jr.? Hmm. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm wondering why first takes not doing, should Travis Kelsey be dancing in the end zone? Hmm. Oh, wow. because he's not black. That's probably what it is. <laughs> ah, yes. There it is. I wonder whatever happened to that little show. Kelsey wasn't the only player in hot water after that Steelers-Chiefs game. Moments after their win, Antonio Brown put this up on Facebook Live. It caught his head coach, Mike Tomlin, calling the Patriots assholes. Let's start off preparation. We can find the assholes a day and a half. We will touch down at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. We'll be ready for that. It's the most shocking live thing to come out of an NFL locker room since former Viking Vasante Shanko dropped his towel. Tomlin's comments, the subject of our fake tweets about real news. We call it real fake tweets. This comes to us from at Bill Bill Belichick. We were aware of Tomlin's comments thanks to our camera we installed in that locker room. Face chat is stupid. Speaking of football, this poor guy named Joey can't throw one. This week, Good Morning America gave him a chance to win a million dollars, and from what I can tell, some sort of wish being granted. Listen to Jesse Palmer give the saddest encouragement ever. It was right on, you were straight that time. Now, this was not the first time Joey was humiliated on national TV. His first chance at a million bucks was before the national title game in Tampa. Yikes, good Lord, man. You know, if the Texans would have had Joey instead of Brock Osweiler, I bet they beat the Patriots. Carmelo Anthony and the Knicks stink, but they have a fun nickname for rookie teammate Ron Baker. Uh, Burgundy came in, so, you know, great minutes as a, as a starter today, and, you know, that was the decision, and we're going with that. To be fair, Melo calls his head coach Jeff Hornacek stupid McStupid face and Phil Jackson that patchouli-smelling, triangle-loving, senile old bastard. Now let's get back to that gator. Why does this gator have that Senator Mitch McConnell loose skin? I bet he's ready to repeal and replace those people standing there. Can you imagine how many pairs of shoes that thing would make? Come to think of it, Bugs Bunny had it right all along. That does it. South America, take it away. That's it for this edition. Questions, concerns, find me on Facebook or at Roflow on Twitter. I'll see you next time.